normal fluid in the mastoid air cells is mastoiditis. Sometimes it's just a benign effusion. Can you tell those apart radiologically? Take this patient, for example. There is abnormal T2 signal in the mastoid air cells bilaterally. Is this effusion or is this actually mastoiditis? Well, I'll give you a rule of thumb that doesn't work 100% of the time, but is still pretty useful. If you see not only the mastoid air cells, but also the middle ear cavity completely filled with fluid, that's probably mastoiditis. But if it's just partial filling and the middle ear cavity just has a little bit of T2 signal around the ossicles, that's probably just an effusion. Let's take a look at the post-contrast imaging in this same patient. Sure enough, there's enhancement around the mucosa of all of these air cells. This is indeed a mastoiditis. Whereas on this side, we don't have that same enhancement. This is just a mastoid effusion. So as a rule of thumb, and this is not perfect. This won't work all the time. You can't see whether there are actually bacteria in there. But as a rule of thumb, if the middle ear is filled, then you're probably dealing with mastoiditis. If the middle ear is normal or only slightly involved, then it's probably just a mastoid effusion.